Hello, welcome to this video on how to use test HTTP client. Test HTTP client is a command line jar utility, meaning it's Java based and no other dependency is needed beyond Java 8 or higher. And we'll start talking about how to execute certain scripts. So I'll go ahead and type it that in Java minus jar test HTTP client, which is in my current path, and then a file name. And once we execute this, what uh, the program is doing is reading that file name, 001, and uh, it uses that information to execute a series of HTTP transactions that are defined there. And even though all the work is done there, it, there's little evidence on what has happened. So you may be able to check on the destination server, but we also provide logging information from the client itself. And there are two types of flags for that. There's a dash dash debug HTTP that will show most of the HTTP conversation details and also dash dash debug SSL that will show the Java X net debug log that's useful for troubleshooting SSL situations. Now let's run that exact same command. Yeah, minus jar, this HTTP client, zero, zero, one. But I'll add debug HTTP. And we'll see the program running and, of course, providing this log. So I'll go over this, just scrolling up a little bit. And there's a little bit of uh, housekeeping, meaning um, if there's going to be connection handling and when the host has been contacted and if the port is open and uh, Eventually, we, we, what we really want is these uh, HTTP outgoing with um, double greater than sign. That means the information that's going out from the client and into the server, or hopefully into the server. So that's what we sent in this request. That's a get request with that URL and all those headers. And then when the server replies, we identify that with the double less than sign. And we know the server provided an HTTP 200 status. And then, well, a few headers and finally the response body. Now, um, this log is very useful to debug HTTP situations, but I'll clear these and run the same command again, but with debug SSL. And we'll see a very different log. I'll stop that right there just because there's too much information. Um, this is the standard Java X net debug log that will let you know the ciphers in use, the trust store that's currently in use, eventually the key store, the certificates found in there, etc. That's very useful. But um, even though it's useful having it in the console, it's not uh, very um, easy to handle. So. I'll clear these and run the same command with both flags. But instead of sending this to the console, I'll send it to a file. And I'll say I want both buffers to be stored in that single file. And I'll execute that. Once it's done, what I'll do is I'll recover this log file from the file system. And it will include the SSL log initially. And uh, after that, we'll see the HTTP outgoing traffic. Well, at this point, you know, all there is to execute this script in test HTTP client, collect the evidence depending on the type of situation you want to address, and make sure the evidence is stored in a log file. So all this is very useful for operational level. And in the next videos, we'll cover information on how to build these scripts for different scenarios. Thanks for your time.